In northwestern Syria, Idlib province is the last stronghold of the rebel groups that have sought to overthrow President Bashar al-Assad for the past nine years. Long a heartland of the opposition, Idlib has been controlled by a nebula of rival rebel factions since 2015. As Assad's forces have retaken territory throughout the country, they've often struck deals with opponents, allowing them to evacuate to Idlib on condition of surrender. This has turned the northwestern province into a sort of dumping ground for rebels and civilians from across Syria, the government essentially cornering its opposition in a province nestled against the Turkish border. Of Idlib's three million residents, a third are believed to have been displaced from elsewhere. In 2017, Idlib was declared one of the country's four de-escalation zones in an agreement reached by Turkey, Russia and Iran. The following year, Ankara and Moscow joined forces again to broker a ceasefire for the province. But neither the de-escalation nor the ceasefire have held. In the meantime, Idlib has come to be dominated by one rebel group in particular, Hayat Tahrir al-Sham, or HTS. A jihadist alliance, including members of the former al-Nusra Front, which was linked to al-Qaeda. As HTS control has grown, Syrian forces have stepped up efforts to retake Idlib, launching a ground and air offensive with their Russian allies. An offensive that's intensified over the past year. Since December, hundreds of civilians have been killed, and more than half a million have been displaced as one of the biggest upheavals in the nine-year war. But for many in Idlib, where a series of ceasefires have failed, there is nowhere left to flee. Neighboring Turkey, already home to more than three million Syrian refugees, is not opening its doors, compounding what the UN has called a dire humanitarian situation.